color kids this is katie carty hiley from rainbowbright.net welcome back to the rainbow land museum and to a massive merch haul because i have not done one since august and my desk is a mess and i've got to do a merch haul video before i can put this away because i want to show it to you guys because you'll find it interesting at least i hope you will uh, <laughs> and it helps me keep track honestly of what i've gotten when i mean i keep lists like look i i've got lists for days of all the stuff I've accumulated just, I think, since August? This is ridiculous. I I, I agree. But, um, so yes, yeah, some of this I've at least added to my inventory already, but I had not done a video about it yet. So before I put it in its proper place, wherever that's going to end up being in the museum, I wanted to show it to you. And there's going to be no rhyme or reason to the order in which I show you these items because they are from all different time periods, from all over the place. So I'm just gonna go for it. Um, first thing, big old stack of more German Regina Regenbogen. I probably said that really bad. Regina Regenbogen, yeah, something like that. Um, German comic magazines. So these are the ones that I'm translating or getting translated. I'm not translating them. Um, that I have someone helping me translate over on Patreon. So if you go to patreon.com slash rainbowbrightnet, you can find out more about the projects that we're working on over there. But this is the main one right now is we are translating these comics into English because there's all these amazing like comics and short stories and things about Rainbow Bright in here that we don't know. And it's time that English speaking fans knew what was in these things. Um, we've already got gotten, I think, five of them done. Um, it's on my on my part now that I have to like finish editing the last one or two to get them ready to show people but these are only for patrons that are pledging at certain levels so again go over to patreon.com that's p-a-t-r-e-o-n um to check out the world reward levels and see how you can contribute to that project uh, so you can gain access to it when it's available but yeah i think i got 10 here that i did not already have I accidentally got two of one i think i forgot i had already ordered it and i ordered it from somewhere else <laughs> whatever um so yeah bunch of those very very happy about that although i'm still missing some it's not like that completes my collection because there's so many of those things one day i need to do a count and see how far off i am now from having all of them i'm actually probably getting pretty close anyway that's those um oh and okay i'll skip over to some fan art because my buddy color week boy who's helping, he calls himself that because he's basically colorblind, or at least partially, um, but he's a Rainbow Bright fan, which I find fascinating, because you would think if you can't see all the colors, it wouldn't necessarily appeal to you, but he likes it anyway. Um, so he is the one that helps me collect some of these magazines since he lives in Germany, and he sent me this, which I was not expecting, and it's beautiful. Like, he had sent me a picture of this one day, just like, hey, look, Here's a piece of art that I did one day and I was like, what? You just whipped that out. You just, you, you got a pencil and you just drew that. Are you, are you kidding me? And he's like, yeah, no big deal. I draw sometimes. I'm like, dude, this is amazing. Like this is beautiful artwork. I'm hoping this will stay in focus so you can see the detail that he puts into this. And it's like, dude, you, it doesn't need to be in color to be gorgeous. Like, this is amazing. Um, so yeah, I guess, he was just happy that I freaked out about it, and so he sent it to me. Like, this is the original, and he is so sweet. Thank you, Color Week Boy. You're awesome. I had to show that off to you guys because I'm so proud of it. And, and that's not all. He's done other art that's just as amazing. I'm hoping he'll share it with the world one day when he feels confident enough to do so. Because I really think that all the fans would love his artwork just as much as I do. Um... And then these, again, I've had for a little while, but I haven't had a chance to do one of these videos. Um, Rage Gear Studios made a few more Xeller Kids. So here we go. Um, it started out, which one did they do first? I think it was Orc Angel. Um, a couple of these were commissions that they got. So these were people who said, hey, there's a particular character I want done in that style, and they paid them to do it. Um, and they do still take commissions, so if you have an idea for a color kid um, or an X-Men character, you know, X-Men character, color kid mashup that you want done, 
let them know and they'll give you their prices and the options available and uh, you can get that accomplished. But I'm so glad that even though, you know, I'm not the one that commissioned them, that the rest of us get to enjoy them. <laughs> it's like they, you know, they're made for these specific people, but then we can also buy prints of them um, and enjoy their beauty. So I, for I know this one, I think his X-Men name is just Angel, I think. I don't remember what Auric means. I'm sorry, Ray. I'm sure you said at one point and I've forgotten. And Mercury Max, he's based on Quicksilver, which I love that character in the uh, the new X-Men movies. So those were two were commissions. And then this one they did for a convention. Hold on, let me set these down so Wisp does not jump on them. No, ma'am. Uh, Phoenix Flame. Whoa, sorry, focus went away. Um, it was for... Oh, now I'm trying to remember the name of the convention they did it for. Is it FlameCon? I think it was FlameCon. Um, so they wanted to do something to do with Flame. And this is based on Phoenix, but not spelled like this. Um, I think I actually helped Ray figure out a different spelling because he wanted it to be something different than just Phoenix. And I was like, well, why don't we try a different spelling? And it worked. So there she is, Phoenix Flame, based on like Jean Grey, Jean Grey that Phoenix character. Um, who is beautiful. Oh my god, all three of these are amazing. And he just sent me these because he is amazing. I was not expecting that. So Ray, you're great. Um, I think sometimes he likes just, he'll like show me an early concept um, and say, you know, what, what, do I, what do I think? Do I have any suggestions? And if I do, I'll pass them along. And if I can help him name them, I'm happy to do so. So I think this was just a thank you for being a sounding board and being such a huge fan because I am such a huge fan of his. Um, so yeah, if you did not know that Rage Gear Studios had made three more Solar Kids, now you do. So you can go over to their Etsy shop and I'll try to put a link to that in the description here and purchase prints of those. And I love that they're the sparkly ones too, just like the other ones that I had gotten previously. So yay, they all match. Now this, again, so all three of these I'm showing you, do I have any other fan art? No, I think this is it. But all three of these are gifts that people sent me, like was not expecting. So <laughs> the one from Color Week Boy, the ones from Rage Gear Studios, and then this was a birthday present from Ann Everhart. So she went to a convention in uh, Philadelphia, I think, RetroCon, and Pat Fraley, who did the voice of Lurky and Buddy Blue and Onyx and several other characters from the Rainbow Bright series was there signing autographs and she got to meet him and she got him to sign this piece of fan art for me. It was so sweet. She even got a video of him like saying hi to me and it's adorable. I think I actually uploaded that to my YouTube channel. So you may have already seen the video, but this is what she was getting signed. Uh, for me when she was there talking to him. And the art is absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is by Potato Buns. That's adorable. I'm gonna have to try to find a link for them. Um, but I just love this art style so much. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Anne. You're amazing. I have some of the best friends in the world, you guys. I am one lucky girl, let me just say. Love it. Um, love them. And then... Yeah, let me skip around to some other gift things. This is not fan art, but people are nice and send me things occasionally because <laughs> they're my friends and, and I am so appreciative every time they do. So I've gotten these a bit mixed up. I think I'm, tr I'm going to try to remember who sent me what because they either came on the same day or like within a day of each other. And these weren't even around my birthday. They were just, just because... Um, but Michael Ron and my friend Sabella, um, they both sent me gift packages full of rainbows and rainbow bright stuff. So I know Michael sent me this. This is the Over the Rainbow bath set. So it's still got all the bath beads in it, which is hilarious. And then I think, what does it say? Oh yeah, this is talc powder inside there. And yeah, I don't think this has ever been opened. Well, maybe. It's not, it's not, uh, taped, so it's possible but it's got that great artwork on the back. I love that scene. And it just talks about the contents of what's in it. And it talks, you know, in a faraway place at the end of the rainbow, there's, yeah. It's that little doohickey that you see everywhere. Um, this was distributed by something I cannot pronounce in New Jersey. <laughs> uh, copyright 
1983. So yeah, this is definitely vintage, if you couldn't already tell, and I love it. Thank you, Michael. You rock. I'm definitely putting that in the collection. And then I think these next few items were from Sabella. So she found some ponytail holders. These were from like the 2003-2004 era. There were several party supplies that got produced around that time and I love all of them so much. So yay! I have ponytail holders you guys! I think they'll fit in my hair. <laughs> I totally remember using things like this when I was a kid and I would rip my hair out so bad trying to get them off but they were totally still worth using so these were adorable. And then I'm pretty sure this was also from her um, and you guys tell me if I'm wrong. I'm really sorry if I attribute a thing to the wrong person. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Um, but yeah, a custom... Well, let me take that out because that's just like the screws. A custom wall plate for a light switch. That is so cute. Look at that. This rainbow plate. It's got the characters. I love it so much. So I have, I have to find a light switch in my house that this will fit on because um, a lot of ours are like two light switches, but I know there are several single light switches around the house. Actually, I think I just thought of one in the museum itself that I may put this on. So, yay! Perfect! Love it! And then, I think this was also from Sabella. This is like a zipper pouch. It's mesh on the back. So you could put pencils, pens, makeup, whatever the heck you want in it. I have no idea where she got it or where she got it made. Same with this. Um, whoops. Put it back up. Yeah, it's definitely like a custom made item. You can see where it's wrapped around on the back, but so I don't know where she got these or got them made, but they're so cute and really well done. I love them. I absolutely love them. And they make me think of my friends, so that's even better. Um, and I think, oh gosh, I don't remember who sent me this. I feel like this is probably from, from Michael. Again, I'm sorry if I'm wrong. It's a bracelet that's made out of like pages from Rainbow Bright Books. So, like, I don't know if you can see, there's really tiny slits all the way around. Yeah, I think you can see those. Um, so I guess they did that just so that they could fold it in a circular fashion without it going all wonky. And then the inside is also covered with, um, yeah, pages from books. And it's I'm pretty sure it fits. Yeah. I was like, I did try this on, didn't I? Yes, yes I did. And it fits. It's lovely and I love it. And again, it's so sweet and so cute and something that will remind me of my friends. And I think it's Michael. I'm going to ask because I don't want to... <laughs> yeah. I'm going to feel really bad if I say it came from the wrong person. So I, I do apologize ahead of time. That might have been from Sabella. I don't know. I'm so sorry, you guys. Anyway, this one I know came from Michael because it's the Feelin' t-shirt uh, that they sent him back when the, the, sh the uh, Feelin' show first came out in 2014 and they were promoting it and they did some contests and so forth and he got this shirt. Um, but it's not like a men's shirt. I, I don't know if it's fitted necessarily, but there was like another one that was definitely unisex and said Rainbro on it which would have been more suited for a male, and I wish they had sent him that one, but they sent him this one instead. But I guess he just didn't have room for it or knew I would appreciate it more. I don't know, but he sent it to me. So that's super, super sweet too. So I've got that. And okay, so Bella, I'm pretty sure, is the one that sent me this. Another little OJ. He's so cute. This is one from June of 15. So he's one of the originals, yeah? Yeah. Um, from the first run, because now there are two lest we forget, but he's just adorable, and I can always use more sprites. Who can't? <laughs> and look at these, they're so tiny, you can just fit them everywhere and anywhere, and I feel like I'm gonna have a house full of them at some point, I really do. Um, okay, and then these, I think the other two things, no, three things are from Michael. Yeah, oh my god, you guys. They were so generous and sent me this stuff. So he had, well, first of all, I already had this, which is a book, Rainbow Bright and Her Special Friend, but I did not have the book, um, the book, the box that the book came in, and I did already have a copy of the tape as well, but again, didn't have it still in the box, so he, I think, got this on eBay because he needed the book, um, but he didn't really care about keeping the box or the tape, so he sent it to me so that I can put my book up inside there, and you can tell it's been opened, so I'm not going to pretend this is like met in box and never removed or anything like that. 
And this is colored in, I'm pretty sure. Is this the one that's colored in? Uh, yeah, this is the one that's colored in. <laughs> so it's definitely not meant, but the tape certainly is. And it's just great that now I have the box that goes with this because I did not have that before. So yay. Um, and then he sent me a few paper cups. These are also vintage, like party cups. So cute. Love it. And oh my God, this is so cool. A frame and it's like a shadow box. Like I think, you, yeah, you can see like the depth of it there. It, so it's got two layers of rainbow land there. And I'm totally gonna have to put a picture of he and I in this besties forever. Cause he's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it, that's, that's gotta go what's in there. Got to be what goes in there. Sorry, I'm getting hot up here. Um, but I love this. Thank you, Michael. I love it so much. I love all of this stuff. And, oops, I think this came in the box. Oh, right, okay. So he's the one that did the stormy head for me, the reroute, which I still need to do the video about how to put the head on. But anyway, he sent this with it which is just adorable. This is his pho his photography and his custom that he made for himself. Um, but he does great doll photography. So now I have like a little certificate to go with my <laughs> my custom stormy head or just custom stormy. You know what I mean? So, I think I think those are all the gifts that I have been given lately, which so generous, so sweet. Oh my god, I have such great friends. I'm super lucky. I'm just looking around to make sure I didn't forget anything because I would hate to leave anyone out. Um, okay, so a few more things that I got. Well, these I just got in the mail because that's what happens this time of year. Dream book and a couple more Hallmark mailers, all of which have pictures of either the Rainbow Bright ornament or the Rainbow Bright dolls in them. So I'm going to hang on to those for the collection. I oops, also bought another vintage greeting card. They wrapped it so nicely. I didn't want to take it out. <laughs> this lovely um, tissue paper. Oh, I'm never going to get it back in there the way they had it. Oh, well, that's okay. I need to put it away anyway. Ew, and it's even in plastic. Wow. Okay, this seller did an amazing job. <laughs> put that over there. Um, but yeah, this is a particular greeting card I just did not already have, or maybe I had a different version of it. I think this one came from Canada, if I'm remembering correctly. And sometimes they would get a card that had the same artwork on the front as one we got in America, but it would say something different or the inside would be different. So those of you who collect Rainbow Bright greeting cards, that might be something you can keep an eye out for. But I just love the artwork on the vintage cards so much. So pretty. And wow, yeah, I love that she put it in plastic and everything. Woohoo! It'll stay nice and crisp. So then I also got the completion of the cross stitch panels that my friend Jinxie has been cross stitching for me over the last. I don't know, Jinxie, how long has it been? Like a year? I don't know. Um, yeah, but she's been steadily working along, getting the entire. Well, I already had a few, but getting the rest of them that I didn't have done. Um, but yeah, I commissioned her to do these a while back and she did all of them and I'm so thrilled. I just have to show you this one because it's freaking adorable. Look at Twink. He's so cute. And yeah, she just does amazing work. So I'll add these to the rest of them that she sent me and one day I'll figure out what I'm going to do with them. <laughs> For now, I will just enjoy them as they are, but yeah, I'm hoping maybe one day they can go into a quilt or pillows or something um, so that they can be enjoyed by more than just myself. So, okay, two more vintage things and then a few more new things. Yeah, and I think that's it. So, I got another vintage purse that I did not already have. And I like this one, I think, for two reasons. I had not seen it before. So again, if it's something I haven't seen before, I'm probably going to grab it. But it also comes with this wallet that's like attached to it, which I think is just so cute. It's got Velcro. Um, this little part, it looks like, has broken off probably just due to age because the, the Velcro is not 
all messy like something that was used would be. Um, I mean, it's not, even the rest of the purse is not in perfect shape, so it probably was used by a child, but not overused. Anyway, I thought that was great that it still had the wallet, that it's still attached, um, and it's overall still in pretty darn good condition for being so old. And yeah, it's another one that I can add a picture to to my site. Oh, weird, check out the handle, I just noticed this. Um, let me get it going the right direction. Yeah, it almost looks like, well, it's just the, the other side of these clasps. Um, I'm not sure if it came like that or if that's something that they did just to shorten it for the child that was using it. Hmm. No idea. If I ever see another one, I'll have to pay attention to the handle <laughs> to see if it's like this as well. But anyway, I love old purses. I have one, not like this. I, I still have my vintage Rainbow Bright purse, um, but I have one as a child. It was one of the few Rainbow Bright items I did have, so those always make me happy. And this is a lunch bag, which is so cool. So it's not a, you know, hard lunch box, but it's that, what do you call it, insulated, you know, thick material that's supposed to keep things cool or warm or whatever. And it even has a thermos in it, which I don't know if it's original to this or, because it's the same thermos that came with the hard um, lunch boxes. So, Either way, it has a thermos, yay! And I think that they originally came with a long strap too, because there's these things on the sides that you could put a long strap on to put like on your shoulder, um, but this did not come with it, so it was probably just lost over the years, but it still has these lovely handles. So heck, I could use this as a purse if I really wanted to. <laughs> it's in really good condition. As you can see, yeah, the graphics are still super bright. So, wee, yay! stuff it makes me so happy all of this stuff makes me so happy what am i who am i kidding and then that that is that the rest okay i think oh no i was about to forget one other thing but okay these two are not anything particularly special they are just ones that are different dates than the ones i had before um i know i got her when i was in kansas city i can't remember if i got them there as well or if I found them locally. Either way, um, these were produced in April of 2016. So I had the other one or two sets that were produced another month, so I had to get the April set, and she was produced in January, yeah, of 16. So again, I had the other months, had to get her too. So I haven't seen any later than that yet, but I'm, I always look, every time I go to the store, I'm looking at all their tags to make sure I have all the variations. Um, I literally had to put them all in a bin though because I was running out of space in here for all the new merchandise that just has been coming out over the last few months. And I had all these duplicates because they, I had to get everyone from every different month that they came out. And finally I was like, okay, this is a little ridiculous. Um, <laughs> I can't display all of them. It just looks stupid to have five of her sitting out and four starlights and five twinks or whatever. Um, so they're going to go in a bin in the closet for now until I determine if I'm going to continue doing that going forward with other dolls and books, etc. or I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure it out. So I got those and then the, li the very last things, pretty certain, are these little jewelry items that I found on Hallmark.com. Now they do not call them Rainbow Bright, but if you search for the word rainbow, they'll come up. But they are so Rainbow Bright inspired that in my mind, they should be Rainbow Bright. Um, so there's a necklace, earrings, and a ring, and they're all child size, which I knew that from the description, but I didn't know how small that actually meant until I got them, and they're pretty tiny. Um, this is the necklace. <laughs> That's the pendant. Um, let's see if I can get it where it's... Oh, it's... Yeah, it's got some glare on it, and it's not focusing too well. Oh, there we go, there we go. But doesn't it look just like her color belt? Almost. Like, not precisely, but come on. That totally looks like Rainbow Bright's color belt. So even though it's tiny, tiny, I love it. And they were having their, you know, Cyber Monday, well, it was a whole week, but they were having sales where everything was 20% off. So I just went ahead and snatched these things up while I could. Here's the ring. I haven't taken it out yet to see. I'm, it'll probably fit on my pinky or something, maybe. <laughs> and if 
not, that's okay too. I don't know that I would wear these, or at least not often. May I might make them like costume pieces to wear with Rainbow Bright Cosplay. And here are the earrings, which again, tiny, tiny. These I could at least wear, I think. <laughs> I haven't taken them out to actually, but yeah. You can wear tiny earrings, it's just the other things that are questionable, but even though they're child size, I think they're adorable and I'm glad that I got them. So I just wanted to let you guys know they exist, even though I don't know that even Hallmark would call them official like Rainbow Bright merchandise, but they're at least Rainbow Bright inspired in my mind because they look so much like her color belt. So I really think that is everything. I'm sorry, this was, again, another long video, but I had to get it all out so that I can do other videos and clean off my desk, which will make doing other videos easier to do. <laughs> um, and other stuff that I need to actually use my scanner to do, which is piled, or has been piled high with this stuff that I need to put away. So, more stuff coming soon, um, more videos coming soon, more all the things, but that's it for right now. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around, and if you have any questions about any of this or comments, leave them below, and I'd love to hear from you. I guess that's it, though, so happy Rainbow Day. Bye.